Welcome back, everybody, on this Monday, Monday afternoon. Today, we have stopped in Newington during our 20 Towns in 20 Days adventure. Each and every day, we're shining a spotlight on a local charity, a big organization, even some small ones, maybe a nonprofit that helps the community. Well, today, we're talking with Chris DeFrancesco, the president of the board of directors for NCTC, the uh, Performing Arts Center in Newington, the Newington Children's Theater. Right, Chris? Newington Children's Theater Company. That's right. Thank you so much for having us, Mark. Thank you for being here. This is so great. So I have to be honest, I, I had not heard of this before, but this is the longest running nonprofit children's theater company in Connecticut, right? That's right. And uh, we're starting season 59 this fall. Oh, wow. After the after the past year. What? Well, first of all, give us a little huh. history. So after 59 years, what do you guys do? Well, we start off as a town program in Newington at Parks and Rec in 1963. And then in the early 2000s, uh, broke off from the town, became a standalone nonprofit, and did a lot of traveling. It was a touring company. And then we finally got uh, an established physical location to do shows and stop with the touring and it did more on site performing. Uh, we've been doing that ever since, but we outgrew our space, which was at 743 North Mountain Road in Newington. And then just this past year, while we were shut down, we moved and relocated. We're on 136 Day Street, got to stay in Newington. Same space as Ariel's Gymnastics, uh, they're our neighbor. And now we're in the process of retrofitting old office space into a performance venue. This is really, really cool. So we look at these these awesome pictures right here of these kids. And you know, so much focus, I think, all the time on sports and things like that. But there is such a transformation, I think, when they're that age and they participate in, in a play or the theater. And you don't have to be the star of the show, but one of the many different roles. I mean, it has to be quite a, a, a transition for you to see these kids go through. It really is. I mean, my own daughter is an example why I got involved to the extent I did. I mean, these kids learn so much from just being part of something bigger than themselves, right? They're part of a team. They might not be doing athletics, but it's still a team sport. You know, you know your, your friends are relying on you to be a certain place at a certain time and say a line or sing a song or do a dance. And there's so much uh, coordination involved. And uh, our artistic and executive director, Claire Van Cott, she's so terrific. It's amazing what she's able to draw from these kids to get them to, to break out of their comfort zone and take creative chances and, and really grow that way. It's really, really awesome. I would imagine, though, uh, during the pandemic, things came to a, a screeching halt, right? Sure did. Uh, we were about two weeks away from doing our spring musical, You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown, when we had to shut everything down. And in addition to that being such a shame for all the kids, and there were close to 100 of them who were working so hard to get that show ready, uh, the theater itself relies on having programs and kids coming to take part in these programs, doing these productions, and then selling tickets to the productions as a way to become self-sustaining, right? Uh, we had to come up with uh, savings in order to retrofit this new building right. to create this new theater. And we lost probably 95% of our revenue stream over the last 14 months. So over the past year, uh, our director, Claire, has found some creative ways to keep the kids engaged with some online programming. We did manage to squeeze in an outdoor, socially distant talent show on the grounds of a church in town last fall. And it was great to see the kids getting back together having, after having not seen their, their theater buddies for so long. Um, and we're hoping to bring the kids back uh, very, very soon. I was just going to ask, so do you have anything in the, uh, coming up in the near future? Are you going to start working on something? We sure do. We've opened up our summer programming. A lot of them are already uh, have waiting lists. Normally during the summer, they're a uh, five-day-week day camp where the kids get together for a week or two or three at a time. They spend the day rehearsing, and then at the end of that two- or three-week period, they do a show. So we're, we're starting that up again in our new space. We're doing the rehearsals in our new space at, on Day Street. And then we're going to do the performances outdoors. A couple of various places in town are letting us use their their lawns uh, to do an out outdoor, socially distant, people bring your own chairs kind of a thing. And probably most importantly in the near term is on June 12th, which is a Saturday, we're going to have what we're, we're doing our, our annual spring fundraiser. We're doing Whose Laugh Is It Anyway? And it's an improv show on in Bushnell Park. We're teaming up with CT Improv. And we're having that be our fundraiser. So these are professional actors who are going to do an improv show. And then maybe some of our kids may find their way uh, yeah. onto the stage toward the end. And it'll be a great way to bring the theater families back together, hopefully drawing a lot of new folks 
and, and really uh, get the summer kicked off for us. Well, Christy Francisco, we're so happy you joined us this afternoon from the Newington Children's Theater Company. Uh, we will post links on the Channel 3 app and also WFSB.com because that event sounds great. And please let us know when you have your next production happening because we want to make sure we tell everybody to go check it out. Well, we'd be happy to do that. Thank you so much for having me on, Mark. We'll see you soon. Take care.